Fetz here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York on this rainy, drizzly, melancholy day. Uh, yeah, in front of me today, I have a box of 2014-15 Upper Deck MVP Bargain Basement Steez. Configuration, 24 packs per box, eight cards per pack, 192 cards. A box break should entail one auto mem or superscript, five base inserts, six colors and contours, parallels, 24 silver scripts, and 24 high number series cards. Regular base set is one through two honey, and two one through 300 would be the short prints that are one in one, uh, one per pack. Uh, what else do you need to know? Colors and contours, man. Those die cuts, uh, they are confusing and mystifying. They run level teal one, uh, inserted one of 96, which would be a 25% chance, all the way through to level three purples. Uh, inserted one of 520, which would be a 5% opportunity uh, for those puppies right there. There are jerseys and autos, as I said, such as the souvenirs and the souvenir combos and the two on two dual sided jersey cards, the pro sign signatures, which are one in 132 and 18% chance, and the one on one signatures, which are inserted one of 2612, which would be less than a percentage. Uh, and there are the rookie redemptions, which come in nine card lots uh, for divisionals. Those are one in 384, which would be a 6% chance. Those would be, happen to be expired, of course. But those are how you would theoretically hit the Aaron Eckblads, the Jonathan Dwans, the Pasternaks, the Danus, the John Goudros, the Leon Dreisaitl's, Darnell Nurses, Bo Harvats, etc. Otherwise, you have to settle for the base or base short print uh, rookie cards, which would be the Kuznetsov, Teravine, and Yarn Crook, McKeg, Nemeshnikov, Clef Bomb, people of that ilk, of that era. Um, yeah, man, so that would be it. So let's pop this puppy. Let's bruise it uh, open. Bruise and box and uh, slice and dice once, twice, thrice. Uh, it's going to be dark in here today. Uh, I always use natural light, and the reason it's going to be dark is because it is about to rain on our parade. Boom, seal. 2014 15, man. Uh, pretty nice configuration. Uh, pretty uh, simple, and uh, we should be accustomed to these puppies at this particular point in time. So let's floss right through these bad boys. Uh, hopefully we can get through them fairly quickly. Here we go. Kyle Oposo. Kyle Oposo. Uh, Nicholas Jalmerson. <laughs> Elliot Malkin and Thomas Fleischmann would be our silver script. Uh, these are the types of cards we're used to. And Gino Malkin would happen to be the high numbered card 207. Although I won't separate those all out until the recap because it would just be so time-consuming and somewhat redundant. So let's pop right through these bad boys. Clarkson, Smith, Patrick Kane, Brayden Holpe would be the silver script. Uh, so this NHL stars John Tavares, uh, Hiller, and Lundquist. So this is one of the base inserts. Uh, I shall put the probabilities under the video for those base inserts. I think their three stars weeklies are one in seven, so that'd be 342% chance. Uh, there are also three stars monthly, as well as the Rookie of the Month cards, which are the rarest, I believe. There's Wayne Gretzky checklist, a Wayne Gretzky checklist, which would be numbered 300. So it's the last card in the set. There's Landeskog, Landy, Ranlin, Sam Gagne. Again, I do not separate uh, MVP high number cards, because it's pretty easy to complete the set. It's nothing uh, too spectacular. There's Morgan Riley, Pavel Datsuk. And another one of these bad boys, Mark Andre Fleury, Chimera, and Pominville. Base insert, Ryan O'Reilly. So there's Ryan O'Reilly, and the Datsuk would be the high number card. Continuing on, just gonna try to roll right through these bad boys. Dustin Brown, Corey Perry, and oh, pretty nice signature here of Danny DeKaiser. It's actually sort of round. Up oh, here is the cat. The cat is up in it. Okay, buddy. She says hi, and she says bye. <laughs> Continuing on, another one of these three stars. Jokinen, Scrivens, Tyler Johnson, Shane Doan, Danny Heatley, Shifley, Thomas Placanix, Andy Green. Uh, Shane Doan would be the high numbered card. Ryan Jonta. Parents, Wayne Gretzky, my numbered card, Cody Eakin, and here would be our first colors and contours. 
So let's take a look at it, and it would be a die cut one. So teal level one would be 196. I believe this is 25% chance of this bad boy here, of this Matt Molson. So there are a couple of the base rookie cards. We'll look for those, like the Koozie would be a base. Getting on, Wayne Simmons, Josh Bailey, Mike Fisher, Craig Anderson, a Jack Johnson, silver script, as well as a Matt Niskanen uh, die cut. Colors and contours, and this one would be teal die cut three, I believe. Teal die cut three, I believe is one eight, 300%. These are actually, I believe these are the most common ones, believe it or not. Daniel Paye, Britton Hopi. There's Carey Price, a Drew Doughty, Stepin, Riz Galoff. Carey Price would be the high number card. Tyler Bozak, Ryder, Fleischman, Getzlaff, Pavlik, Patrick Marlowe, Dougie Hamilton, and Mike Smith. Uh, Getzlaff would be the high number card. Notice this is before puzzle pieces. Jack Johnson, Danny DeKaiser, Joel Ward, Marty St. Louis, Joel Ward, Boys, Falk, Thomas Bannock, Ryan Murray, Antoine Belmet, Kemper, Flower, that's kind of cool, so this would be a high number silver. And F. Cody Eakin. Well, as I said, I'll separate those puppies out. Unless we'd be here all month. Nick Bonino, Tom Statar, Ryan McDonough, Bufflin, Michael Granlin, Rick Wheeler, Fowler, Berglund, Purcell, Marty Brodeur, James Neal, I assume Marty Brodeur would be the high number card. And these puppies are stuck. Jeff Skinner, Cassian Foligno, there's Sam Gagne, Thomas Hurdle. Oh, so this one's a rookie, uh, Brandon Gormley, he's the most common rookie. He actually didn't play very long in the NHL, I do not believe. He was dropped in the first round, 13th overall was Gormley, but he was not in the NHL too long. Oh, Greg McKegg, another rookie card. Greg McKegg was drafted, I think 62nd overall was Greg McKegg, I don't know if it says it here. Uh-huh. Upshaw Latang, high number card, Goligoski. So those are the two most common rookie cards, I believe. The one we'd be looking for, we'd be looking for the Teravinen and the Coos. The Coozy. There's the Teravinen. So here's the Teravine rookie card. Pretty handsome looking rookie card. I think we're almost guaranteed to get these. Uh, it's a high numbered one. Uh, these are the short prints, the Teravinen and the um, the Kuznetsov would be the short prints. There's Bernier. Another NHL Stars. Almost our last column. We're getting to our last column very quickly. For Dubinsky, Myers, Hodgson, Lundquist, Camilleri, Boyle, Nate McKinnon. And it would be Lundquist would be the high numbered card. Unless I'm. Nope. Yuri Hoodler, Tom Wilson, Seth Jones. There's Sydney. The Kidney, high number card. Tyler Bozak, okay, so this Nazem Kadri, who I absolutely despise, uh, would be a purple die cut two. I believe the purple twos are one in 144, 17% chance. So these are still fairly common, those bad boys. Continuing on, I think we have another die cut in here. Ooh, there's Markov. Joe Pavelski, Stevie Y. Oh, look at this. That is cool. That is really nice. So this is a high numbered Bobby Orr silver script. Very cool. Cat's meowing. And then we have a Travis Sajak. Teal level three are one in eight. So the 300% chance we should be getting three of those. I think we've already gotten two of those. Giordano. Iserman would be the high numbered card. Just a few packs left and we haven't hit our hit. I've heard of some people not hitting their hit and not receiving their auto. My God, how dark is it in here? I'm gonna have to pump the volume. France Nielsen, Luongo, a Mark Zidlicki, 
silver. Uh, so this would be a NHL rookie. So these NHL rookies, rookies of the month, one in 40, 60% chance of hitting this bad boy right here. So these are the rarer of the generic inserts and it would be anti Ranta. It's actually a pretty decent one from my perspective. Uh, yeah, continuing on. We still have not hit our hit. Unless it's our, unless it's there, if it's a superscript or gold script. Let's see, Foligno, OEL, Ryan Suter, there's Michael Ryder. Ah, okay, so this one I believe is a gold, so it's a Patrick Hornquist, and it would be a gold die cut two. Uh, gold level twos are inserted 124, so we actually get one per box, so that's a 100% chance to hit that one. Two cards, two packs left, guys. Which one has the hit, and what is the hit is the question at this juncture, because I have not hit a hit. Don't think it's in here, Carl Hagelin, Oscar Kleffbaum. Okay, so that's cool, we hit the Oscar Kleffbaum rookie card. Uh, as well as the Koozie, both of them in the same pack. So I guess you're guaranteed essentially to hit these base ones. These are the best rookie cards. You would need the redemption to hit the other ones, the Darnell Nurse. There's Anze Kopitar, Justin Williams, and the high number card is the Kuznetsov. So there you go. Uh, and Kuznetsov was a 26th overall in 2010, I believe, while Clefbaum was drafted 19th overall in 2011. So this is our last pack, so this would have to have our hit in it, assuming we have a hit. Hopefully it's not just a superscript, maybe it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see what our hit is. Dustin Penner, Jeff Carter, a Chris Higgins. Is that it? Did I not hit a anything? Is that possible that I did not hit a hit? Uh, so this die cut teal die cut three, Jonathan Ubeldo and a Jeff Carter. Did I not hit, maybe I missed a super script or a gold script? I am totally confused. I did not receive a hit in this box. I thought we were guaranteed an auto or a, wow. I am going to look through all the cards and see whether I missed anything. Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, Lavender Rock in Brooklyn, New York, and today I thought I would open this package, this mail day package, which I just received. I'm wondering what's in here, so there's only one way to find out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Paper. And something. Let's see what the paper says. Huh, okay. So this is in fact a replacement card. Uh, thank you for your recent replacement request. The Upper Deck Company strives to produce the highest quality trading cards on the market. We apologize that the card you recently purchased did not meet these standards. Uh, however, they are happy to replace any damaged cards. So this is kind of cool. And then they remind me here, we offer product replacement for our value collectors for one year or while supplies last. So I believe this is the replacement card for not having gotten a hit in the 2014-15 MVP Hobby Box. I did not receive a hit, so let's see what I received. So this is about, about what, about 10 days after the break? Something to that effect. And I did receive two cards, I believe. So let's see what I received. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They gave me an MVP Johnny Goudreau auto. What? Okay, well that's kind of cool. So it's an NHL Territories one, boom. But I believe there's something else in there. Let's see what the second thing is. Oh, I think it's another one. Oh, is it a jersey? Let's see. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> that is so cool, how sweet of them. Honestly, this is such a great replay. Oh, wow, okay. So, so guys, uh, yeah, so I complained to them and they were really nice, really cool. I'm very happy with that. Uh, and they did it fairly quickly and I have to say shout out to Upper Deck for rectifying a wrong. Uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, congratulations to me. So sometimes you do have to complain. I do believe that Upper Deck has gotten a lot better in recent weeks with regard to replacements. I mean, everybody has their own individualized story. This is, uh, this is a great replacement. I love it. So very cool. 
So just looking at these, these would happen to be 2015-16, uh, not 2014-15, not that it matters, it's just a replacement card. Uh, but this TMCP jersey would be a Group B, which would be one of 77, so it would be a 31% chance within one of the hobby boxes. And this one here, NTJG, uh, JG, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I speak pretty good Mandarin, um, Group D, so this is a Group D, which is one of 1,461, which would be a 1.64% chance. So that's really cool, man. I'm pretty happy with that. Good replacements. Uh, yeah, man, bravo. Okay, guys, time for the recap. I'm just gonna buzz right through it because it's a couple of weeks later. Uh, so this would be two stackages of the base, your typical stuff uh, that we're familiar with at this point in time, 2014-15. About 130 cards, which would amount to 65% of the base in the 25 base set. We did receive some 22 uh, base high-numbered cards. Uh, including this one with the checklist card number 300. There's more cards, I think there's 100 uh, high number cards in this old school uh, for rendition of it. So there you go, so these are the high number cards. Uh, boom. What else did we receive? We did receive our silver scripts. Uh, we received 24 of them as uh, expected, plus 10 of them are high number cards, like this cool Bobby Or These are all high number cards here. Uh, yeah, so we certainly, look, Bernie is a high number card, as is Marc Andre Fleury. But uh, so we certainly received uh, a nice uh, stackage of the silver scripts. We did receive uh, our inserts, our base inserts, which are these three stars. So we received four of these plus one. So these are weekly stars. And then this one at Vanti Ranta would be an NHL rookie stars. Uh, yeah, so we see these base inserts, pretty interesting looking base inserts. We did receive our colors and contours, including this gold one, this purple one, Nazem Kadri got, and I think he's the least common one, unfortunately, of this lot. Uh, Matt Molson, I think some of these would be level three teal, which would be a 300% chance we receive three of these. Uh, the teal typically are the most common ones, but it depends. Uh, so that's basically it with regard to the colors and contours. We'll just slap them down there. And we also hit our base high number of rookies, which are fairly easy to hit, I believe. You can pretty much hit all of them. Greg McKegg, uh, Brandon Gormley, Tuvo Teravainen, Oscar Kleffbaum, and we did hit Kuznetsov, so that's kind of cool. So these would be obviously non-redemption rookies, and I'll just slap those puppies back there. And because we did not hit our hit, we did receive these replacement cards, which are actually from 2015-16. NHL Territories Jersey, Group D, one of 77, 31% chance of that, as well as a Johnny Goudreau, which would be a one of 1,461, which is a 1.64% odds. So this they send us as replacement cards, which is kind of spectacular. So that's basically it guys, Upper Deck redeemed itself. Boom, uh, so Unfolded Cards, please provide a like, please subscribe, uh, please hashtag Dry and Fold Cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Didn't I give you everything?